Hello everyone, welcome back to a Rust Tactics video. Today I'm going to be talking about server management and if you're thinking about buying a server and you, you're, you're not sure exactly how the server system works or the admin system works, then I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks and uh, show you guys a little bit about the TC admin tool here. I just so happen to be using HFV servers. Um, I've also had a server on playrust.eu. Uh, they both use the same uh, TC admin tool here, and I'm pretty sure all the hosting companies do use this tool. It's uh, pretty basic. Uh, I'm going to just go over a few things here, and I'm gonna, first I'm going to start out by saying uh, you should probably maximize the video and switch to a higher quality, perhaps 720 to 1080p, so you can read the text and stuff like that. When you first log into the uh, to the system, you're going to see um, some items on the left-hand side. What we want to focus on the most is the game services section. And that's where I am right now. So go to the game services section right here on the left. And this will tell you the name of your server, the IP, the status of it, when it was started, or restarted. So every time you restart the server, uh, it'll, it'll tell you here um, when it was restarted. And we'll just start with that. To restart your server, there's a little button here that says restart. And the server will stay offline usually anywhere between five to 10 seconds. It's not very long. It's a really quick restart. All right. Now with HFB servers particularly, um, every time you restart the server, it, uh, re it, re it renames your server to the default name when you purchase a server which for this particular one was uh, Rust Server. So you gotta make sure every time you restart your server that you name your server back to what you want it to be. In our case, it is legit Rust Official with Oxide. Um, you can look at your configuration files. This is something you'll probably never have to look at. I've never actually had to use that before. Updates, usually there's Oxide in here. Or if you're using Rust++, I particularly uh, prefer Oxide over Rust++. Oxide's a little more user-friendly and has quite a few more plugins at this point in time. So that is installed on this server. And we'll take a look at Mod Manager. On some hosting providers like uh, PlayRust.eu, I don't think they have these preloaded, if I remember correctly. They did have the Oxide mod base system. So you can install that straight through the admin. My dogs would like to be a part of this video so they may bark periodically. So sorry about that if they do. But these actual plugins were not listed in the playrust.eu backend. Um, so you can install these. Sometimes they won't work because they're not always the updated versions. So I'd just like to grab them off the Oxide forum. And the most popular ones that I like to use are door sharing. Uh, message of the day and there's there's a few of them but there's always more plugins being developed and released almost daily uh, door sharing being by far the most popular one on my server so it's probably best that you install those straight through the mod manager or I mean the file manager let's take a look at the file manager here so once you have an oxide installed you notice that there's going to be an oxide folder here you go into the plugins folder, and once you pull the file off the Oxide forum, you have to be registered and logged in in order to, to actually download these. And I'm not logged in, so it's grayed out. Normally it would be orange. And on each plugin page, it tells you how to activate it and how to run the, the, uh, the plugin. It's pretty basic. The hardest part is installing the plugins, and once you get that down, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. So, you just save the file when you download it. Like I said, you download it here, and I usually save it to my desktop so I know exactly where it is. And then once you do that, you just click Upload. Once you're in the Plugins folder here, click Upload. I'm not going to actually upload one but because I already have the ones I want. You choose the file, pull it off your desktop, and click OK, and then it will upload it, and it will appear here in this list. And once you're done, uh, uploading the plugin, you have to make sure that you restart the server, otherwise the plugin will not work. So before you do that, make sure you go into your console 
you got to be logged into your admin console in game like this you want to make sure you're logged in and you type in save dot all what that will do is it will save all the structures buildings everything else that's currently on the game every time you restart the server you want to make sure you do that so you don't lose anything okay and then we'll go back to our game services you just hit restart now if we go back into our file manager you'll, ner you'll notice under my server data it'll list every time that you type in the save.all function these are all the this is the latest one it doesn't have a number next to it these this this is your saved file okay I just like to back up this whole folder so that's what I do mostly before I do a restart go back to the file manager that's why you see this zipped up here so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that Oop, don't want to delete the whole data folder that would be a nightmare I'll delete the zip and what I can do is actually create a zip file so you do that I just click you know ticking that and clicking a uh, create zip and then I like to download the file save it on my local PC that way I have it in case anything catastrophic happens while restarting installing a mod installing a plugin or anything like that that right there pretty much covers the basics of the TC admin let's take a quick look at uh, um, current activity and stats this is pretty cool it tells you how many people are on your server uh, let's see it says there's 12 out of 100 currently on the server we have 100 max players tells you the name and you can actually utilize Archon straight through HF or straight through the TCP or TC admin. I don't want to, why I want to call it TCP, but straight through the actual client. So you can do it remotely. You can give things to people, but um, there's also a new admin tool that was just released uh, over the weekend that's called Rusty. I'll put a link in the description below, but I definitely suggest checking that out. It's a great admin tool. Um, maybe perhaps I'll do a video on that some other time, but it's a great tool for, um, you don't have to type in commands and all that stuff. I'll definitely link to that in the description below as well. Hope this helped you guys out. My voice is running dry, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave comments and make sure you like the video as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.